All right, I'm gonna show you how to scale a pattern in Photoshop. Here I have uh, four objects. Here's my layer panel. You can see I have a background rectangle of color with a color fill. I have uh, three shapes. I have a strawberry here and a butterfly and a pineapple. And I want to scale this pattern to fit into some swatches. And I need to see my motif repeating three times. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make a simple block pattern. I'm gonna grab my marquee selection tool right here, this uh, dancing line box. I'm going to drag a box on the inside of my background color and I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to edit define pattern and you'll see here a little preview of your motif. You can just call this a uh, block fruit and now I have uh, a pattern so I can make all these layers disappear I'll bring my background color back I don't need this marquee box here so I can go to select and hit deselect or control or command D now if I were to take a rectangle a shape builder tool and uh, give it a fill you'll notice this option right here it looks like uh, some diagonal lines this is your pattern option if I click on that you'll see the pattern I just made here is my pattern and here is my scale right right now this is nice and large maybe it's um, too big so if I were to take my tool here and shrink this down with edit transform or free transform this control T or command T right I'm going to uh, shrink it but the problem is here if I shrink it down to a swatch sized shape you can't you cannot see my pattern repeating so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, scale my pattern so how do we do that I'm going to draw a little rectangle maybe this is the swatch that I want over here is my fill option you can click on the pattern you want and then here's your scale slider I'm just gonna manually type in the number maybe uh, 20% still too big. I'm going to go down to 10% and I can see uh, 4 repeating vertically. Maybe I want to uh, a little bit larger. There you go. And that's it. Now my pattern is scaled. All right here's my free transform because this is a vector object. Vector square you can resize it. All right, now let's say you want to put a scaled pattern into a fancy shape. So here is that butterfly that I cut out earlier. You can see that it is already cut out, and I want to add a pattern to this. So I'm going to go to my FX panel. Either down here you can click on this FX button and select Pattern Overlay, or you can just find your, your shape that you are trying to put the pattern onto. Double click in this empty area right here, not on the word, but in this empty area of your layer and you will get your FX options, your layer styles. I'm going to click on Pattern Overlay. Click on the word here, not just the toggle box. And you can see my pattern has now been overlaid within my shape. Here is uh, this drop down here. You can select any number of patterns that you have to overlay on your shape. And um, the scale slider is underneath this little pop-up window. So I have to click outside the pop-up window to see my scale slider. And then you can start to and watch this as I bring my scale down you can see my pattern changing you can also enter in the numbers here manually and do that so here's 15% you can go to 10% you know however many motifs you want to see within your shape hit OK when you're done and that is it if you want to go back and change it you can just double click on this item in your layer panel that says pattern overlay and here is your scale slider again, and you can scale your pattern some more. All right. Happy scaling. Bye-bye.